Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 9 of season 3 of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This time the title of the episode is Closure. So I'm excited to continue watching. I'm excited to watch this new episode. I honestly, I wish I could do more reaction videos for Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But I also have all the other shows to watch. Uh, and, you know, for the month of... I don't think it's gonna be possible though, but for the month of June... I'm planning on finish, finally finish Game of Thrones. I think that by finishing Game of Thrones, I will be able to have more time for all, all the other shows. I was able to finish uh, uh, season one of Arrow, uh, and also, uh, what is it, Marvel's Runaways. So that has given me a little bit more time, but I still, there's a lot of shows that I have to get back on, like uh, I Zombie, you know, and now that I'm watching Killing Eve, uh, also, I'm watching that because I want to, and, and, and there has been a long time since I haven't watched a show that I want to watch uh, without anyone, uh, well, everybody has been recommending me the show, but I honestly, truly wanted to watch it uh, uh, without having the pressure of anyone asking for it, you know what I mean? I don't know, but uh, I just wanted to watch it, so I'm sorry that it, it did, it, 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 it will take a little bit of more time for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to, to pop here on Patreon and on YouTube, but I have to do what makes me happy. The, the best reactions that I can give is when I really want to watch something, like for instance today I say I'm gonna react to Vampire Diaries, Killing Eve, and Marvel Stations of S.H.I.E.L.D. and that is what I'm doing and I'm happy about it and I am excited about it and those are the reactions that come out the best uh, and also it makes me feel good and uh, so yeah, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I hope that you guys continue supporting by giving a lot of thumbs up to this video, subscribe, comment and all those good things and I cannot wait with, uh, to see what we have in store for this episode and yeah, last episode was amazing with everything coming together back to Hydra. Mind blowing. I just, the writers of this show, can they write every show I watch? For instance, Supergirl. Can they write Supergirl? Oh my god. It will be so much better than the things that we get. Why? Not because Supergirl hasn't been good. It's just that Supergirl, for instance, uh, they drop things. For instance, on season two, Cadmus was supposed to be the big thing. They have forgotten about Cadmus. Alex has forgotten completely that her dad is missing. It just bugs me, you know? So anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up, like, say, subscribe, comment, and all those good things. And without further ado, let's just begin with episode 9 of season 3 of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Well, there's a lot you don't know about me. I don't like this because I like Phil Linda, but at this moment I don't feel like they are there. But still, I ship them. Girl would swipe left in this moment. <laughs> True. Such a loving. You know I have a flying car, right? Uh, yeah, it's from the sixties. <laughs> it's low lack of mine. Oh, this is so fancy for them to be eating burgers. I love it. I'm hungry now. She doesn't need Thanks protection. A lot, <laughs> Thanks a lot. A lot. I love you. that. That's my Malik, and that way. It's... Uh oh. <gasps> no! Fuck off! This is a dream! Is it? Oh my god! Oh no! Are you fucking kidding me? Who did that? Fucking war! Three miles away from home! This fucking bitch. Did this happen? <gasps> it's not a dream! Did they kill Rosalind? I didn't want her to die. <gasps> Panicking your voice before you die. This, this bitch. Oh my god! Sorry, that was really mean. Oh, I love how she knows you. They must no 
know each other so well that I stripped them so hard. Anyways, focus on the story. Oh, sweetheart. Poor thing. Everybody just gives him time, you know. Besides, it was obvious he fancied someone else. Yeah, Sky. I don't know what say. That's a Sky. I mean, so Daisy. My oh, God, I'm sorry. It's because he feels too much. So he's what? A big teddy bear? I'm not what buying it. What makes that mouth trying to open a port? Does that slip? This biatch. <laughs> what? Sir! You were supposed to take board out. I said you could do a job. You okay. figured out people are dead. <laughs> oh my down. god. Colson, come on. It's not on him. He knows that. You better not miss this time. You're gonna give him another chance? It's done. I figured out a way to track down more, but we gotta go off book. He loves going off book. <laughs> yeah, true. Sure taking Hunter is really such a good idea. You're going to Agent Morrison. Okay. We need a pilot. I need you to step up and do the damn job. He can Let's do it. Are you tell me your plan? Absolutely not. War is the war. I mean, Mac is the most stable one right now. Look at my children. Matching as well. Love it. Like anything cold or you know how I feel about it. Yes, 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 we know. You don't need a recap. But to put so many other lives in jeopardy would be selfish. It's not selfish. I'm my children! I know my children! This bitch turn! Oh my god! Don't do this. What is happening? It's not me! Well, someone is doing it! Oh, the guy! The, the, ah! No! No! Don't kill him! I know they killed him! <laughs> God fucking damn it! No! Protect my children! Mr. Malik is waiting. Oh no! And they got Ben Simmons now! Shit! Hi! Why are they hurrying my children? What the hell? That is when you went through, did you see it? Oh, oh, oh yes, yes, Gemma! So Fuck off! Some new development. Any suggestions? Separate them and hurt them. Oh my god, I knew it! This bitch, I think like you! Oh no! It's better than doing nothing. What What, what does he want to do? You're the director, what do you want to do? Okay. Okay, Phil, that's not gonna help anyone. Gotta say, I'm impressed with this whole Furiosa about it. You got coming on? He's Fuck just... off! And sure, that I would never do anything to hurt you. But fits is another story, right? But I can't say the same. It's true for him. <gasps> no. Oh no. You want to see a trick? No. You're gonna show with that um, up your ass? Because if not, I'm not impressed. <gasps> Just tell me how she came back. This all ends. Simple as that. The same way you. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Just sit here and listen. Oh no! This bitch! I knew that this is what, what yeah, was going. What, what he was going to do. What I realized about war is that to justify his past. Who's that? <gasps> his little brother. Past, he could never make right. I thought you might say that, so I brought a friend along. <laughs> I made sure to give him a pretty wide berth. Yeah, true. Pretty sound logic, actually. <laughs> Thank you, Hunter. Yeah, well, listen, stop trying to justify what you did. Yeah, Just stop. stop it. And they were my parents, too. Wow, something that he cares about. That's a change of things. <gasps> oh, no. Everything I need to know right now. You bitch! What is standing? Do you? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh 
look at it. Oh, my Gemma. I cleared them just now. Oh. I might just get my team after all. Yeah. Team Human. And Simmons. Him and the other planet. I've been working for this one. Hey, oh. You touch her and the deal's off. <gasps> Protective boyfriend. You can't do this. I thought they were gonna kiss them. Look, we can't let them ring. I'm not strong enough to live in a world that doesn't have you in it. Oh my god, I'm gonna tattoo that in my forehead, I swear to god. Oh. Hot. Oh. Yes, don't bring that thing with you, though. I'm oh my God! Well. Okay. Oh, sweet. Get the show on the road. Oh, this bitch. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's going through. That really is what? Am I too late? Yes, true. What are you doing? He's gonna talk some sense to him. Oh no! Shit! No! No! Be careful! He's gonna get inside! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? How did he got? He's insane! He's insane! He's insane! He just dive into a portal! What the fuck is this? Hi! Oh, oh, fit. Uh, Colson, Colson. Oh, no, no! Don't bleed, though! The thing is gonna come after you! Phil! We're fucked. We're fucked. Okay, guys, that was the end of episode 9 of season 3 of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh my god, crazy as episode. And uh, things are just, they escalate so quickly that I, you know, it's sometimes so much to take in in one episode. It's just insane. So, Hydra opened the portal again. It's really unbelievable to me that they are able to open the portal. They know about it, but they are not able to reopen it. Oh, because of the coordinates. I think that's the key thing that they had missing. They didn't knew that part, I think. I don't know. Thing is that I am really uh, excited about this new thing that they weird, this new adventure. But I fucking hate War, okay? Because he is willing to do the impossible uh, for him to just feel something. Uh, I just, I think that this was a good episode because, yes, even though war is you know he's the villain now on the show there's so much depth to that character and the fact that he was on our team for so long makes you look at him in a different way because we know war we know what motivates war we know that he has gone through hell as well but like the brother said not because you were raised by monsters you have to become one and yes it's hard to like i think that the bravest out of the three children there christian war christian grant and, and thomas i think thomas was the bravest to see the wrong and in, and in, in, in what happened and be able to to let go of his past and move forward without hurting people you know so that is a good thing and i think like i said he is the bravest one there but it's not like you can say oh we weren't expecting the war will turn into this because of the things that happened in his past. So it's kind of, a, it's it's such a good way to have a villain uh, because you know him. You know, it's not like the villain of the season that most shows do, uh, where you establish a villain on a season and yes, you get background story for that, but in this, this is just, you know, war not finding his place. I don't even think that he is 100% there 
with uh, Hydra. I don't believe it. I just feel like they, like people sense, even though he says that he's not, uh, people are not able to manipulate, they are, you know, they, they tackle those things, those desires on him to make him change his per perspectives, perspective on things. Uh, I don't see War as a leader. I honestly, there are Melinda, she's a leader. Mac, he's a leader. Colson, she's a, le he's a leader. Daisy as well, you know. Uh, but War, I don't feel him as a leader. I feel like uh, the moment something goes wrong, he will look out for himself. And I don't know if he has all the core values of Hydra to continue the mission that he has no connection to. He's been introduced to this idea of bringing this inhuman back on Earth and all that, but I don't believe that he is sold on that idea. So I like uh, the fact that we get that, that we see that, that we know that of war. Will he, will, will he pull through the plan? Maybe he will. But he, the things that he will do, I, I don't necessarily feel that he will do it in the name of Hydra, but rather uh, of him having a name for himself. Because he does have this, you know, uh, um, big ego that he has to feel, this necessity of people calling him a hero, you know? Uh, we explain it why and, and, and the things that happen with the Thomas and all that, but at the same time, you know, I don't know, it's, 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 it's so, it's, let's say this, War is an awful villain, like, because of the things that he does to the characters that we love, but he's such a good one, you know, it's not like they make him a, b a villain just because they can't, it's something that, it could have gone both ways, you know, I feel like there was a moment uh, with War that it could have shift things, but he didn't knew better. I mean, I'm not trying to excuse him because he is responsible for all, all the things that he has done. Uh, but he has always been shown this way, the way of, of doing things, you know, of being Hydra and of being this bad person. Um, if he will have had a different upbringing, maybe he will have been different, but we will, I guess we will never know about that. Um, in terms of the entire story, even though Coulson is going mad about... I, honestly, you know, when the episode was starting, I was like, okay, this is sweet. And normally there are not sweet moments in, on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, and I not, I'm not saying that I liked Rosalind. I didn't, especially because of her connection with Coulson. Uh, I didn't like her uh, because of that. I mean, we have trust issues with her. Just last episode, we find out that she actually has been played all along. Didn't, she didn't deserve to die the way she did in the hands of war because of her his revenge. Uh, and I feel sad about that. But I think that it was a good thing for Coulson to just focus on his rage, on his, you know, to see a different side of Coulson, a more impulsive type of person that we haven't seen in a while. You know, he has always been trying to keep his feelings in check and he finally, finally snap it, you know? Um, but yeah, I mean, I cannot say, oh, I'm gonna miss Rosalind and all that, because technically, I wasn't that attached to the character. It's bad, it's bad that she meet this end like this, uh, but it was bound to happen, you know? Uh, but the thing that I love about everyone on the show is that it's how much they support each other, how much they are there for each other. And it's just, it just feels so natural. You know, May saying, you, you have to make this call. You have to make this call. You're the director. Do what you want. Like supporting Mac, knowing that Mac needed in that moment a little bit of support. And I, I love it that because it doesn't feel forced. It feels so natural uh, of the characters supporting each other. Uh, everyone, Hunter supporting Coulson, even Bobby supporting Coulson and all that. It just feels natural, but, but also all the characters, since they are spies and they have, you know, have to live with death on a daily basis, they all are really cautious with their feelings and they, even though sometimes they are like, you, you should open up and I'm here to talk to you, what is the, on the other side, they are always the ones who close up as well. So 
but I know that since they they all know that and since all the they all do that, they are able to come together and understand each other and give them enough space to to rant, to uh, unleash, to, you know, just break things. Because that moment where, you know, you see Colson blank face getting into the uh, base and just going at it and May stopping uh, Daisy saying that he had his time, and all of them knowing that he was breaking up up uh, uh, upstairs breaking things or breaking a wall or things like that and all of them just standing there it was just i don't know it was so powerful for me to know that everyone has gone through this same time and they all give each other space to deal with the things uh they have to deal and they all understand because at one point they all have been where colson was at that point so I love it that I love 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 the relationship between everyone. It never feels forced. It never feels like it's meeting. And I'm going to I'm not going to get tired of repeating this. It never feels like they are meeting a quota with any character. It's not like there's a special episode where you get uh, yes, there are episodes where you know this story demands for you to get more time with one character and, and another. The shows that I watch uh and I always compare Supergirl because it's kind of like t technically the same type of show and they lack of so many things that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. just gives you like a thousand times better, you know, because they are not here to meet a quota. And yes, this story demands, like I said, sometimes to have more uh, time with one character, but you're not dreading, dreading uh, about seeing another character because all of the stories even if it's a little bit more of Coulson in this episode and a little less of May you still get them you still get all of that you know and the story in that moment the story is what is important and the characters just flow around the story and in one moment you need more of Coulson you need more of May and everyone has a take on on what they need in that scene you know and it's never oh in this episode, this could have worked in a different way if you had this character. You, you're not. I'm not left uh, uh, dreading the the this to see my favorite character. I, you guys know how much I, I love Melinda Bay. You guys know that I love her. I love her in this episode as well, and she wasn't as much in this episode as she was in the previous one. But it still, it it left left me completely satisfied about seeing the story play with the characters that need to be played. Like for instance, Daisy hasn't had like a spotlight in the two episodes. Like it hasn't been about her when you know in the first few episodes it was about her when she was discovering her her powers and all of that. Fitzsimmons as well, who I love. You guys know that had the right amount of time I feel so yeah I just I like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. always freaking blows my mind it's just unbelievable but anyways I hope that you guys enjoy I cannot wait to watch episode 10 which probably today what day are we today Wednesday so that means that maybe at Friday on on Patreon I will post the episode episode 10 and then on Monday, episode 11, and so on. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed. And also get ready for one surprise. If you are uh, in the $10 tier, I'm reacting to a movie this week, and you're going to love it. I, I'm, I hope that you love it. So, But yeah, it's coming. Anyways, thank you so much for supporting me. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen on the other side. I kind of feel like I'm having a few, I, I feel like I'm like my throat is going to, like I took a pill because I've been sneezing a lot, but that's not going to stop me to continue doing my reactions, don't worry. But uh, what was I saying? Oh, I'm excited about uh, what is coming with a war in that planet and the fact that how are they going to bring that shit back? And what, what actually is, because we don't know. I don't know yet. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me. You guys are amazing. I hope that I can deliver more, and I will uh, as soon as I can. For instance, right now it's 2.45 p.m., and I need to eat. <laughs> so after a little break, I will return to ed to fully edit everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this by the time it's ready to post. But the uncut version always gets there first. Anyways, thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you next time for another reaction video for Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Mwah! Bye guys!